All right, so we've been talking about TERFs for a while here, dunking on them, making fun of them, talking about how stupid everything they believe is. But um, today, we're actually going to be reveling in their suffering. Um, now, to be fair, the context of why they're suffering is, is also, you know, bad for us. But I want you to forget about that and just focus on the fact that it's TERFs suffering. Okay? Now... For those of you guys who are somehow unaware, TERF stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Now, at first time hearing, you may think TERF, Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, that sounds like the kind of word that like a, like a anti-SJW chud reactionary type would call a feminist. Uh, you know, that they, that they want to, like, insult on the internet. I assure you it is not. Um, TERF is a term that originates from the trans community to refer to... Those that would use the aesthetic of feminism and women's rights to justify bigoted hatred towards the trans community, as well as the infantilization of trans men, um, which almost stands on its own separately from the way that trans, uh, that TERFs talk about the rest of the trans community. TERFs come in a lot of shapes and sizes, okay? Possibly the most notable TERF, Queen TERF, if you will, is J.K. Rowling. The, uh, very famous, extraordinarily wealthy author of Harry Potter, um, which I really liked when I was 14. Uh, listen, I, listen, I'm just saying, if you're a Harry Potter fan, just get into Lord of the Rings. Just, just get into Lord of the Rings. The world building's better. The writing's better. Get into Percy Jackson, even. If, if like, if you need a more YA fantasy world, Get into Percy Jackson instead. Like, legit. Lord of the Rings, if you're more into, like, a, if you need a more mature, well-built uh, fantasy world to follow, uh, Percy Jackson and Dune. Dune, I heard, is good. I know nothing about Dune whatsoever. I heard Dune is good, though. Um, regardless, though. Regardless. J.K. Rowling, Queen Turf, everybody knows that. However, Turfs do take a lot of different forms. For example, uh, Graham Linehan. So Graham Linehan, who I, I need to show you a good, he, here is the most flattering picture of him I could find, okay? I swear to God, this is the most flattering picture of him I can find, all right? This is as good as it gets. This is borderline, uh, th this picture is so flattering, it's borderline dishonest. Okay? It's borderline dishonest. It is so flattering. Regardless, though, uh, Grand Linehan had a bit of a hilarious uh, uh, little little run-in. He is a notorious turf. He hates trans people. He, he claims that trans women are predators and they're grooming the kids. All that dumb shit. But um, he really desperately seeks validation from women for believing this. And so he goes to turfy... Uh, like, wine mom feminist spaces and tries really hard to, like, get their sympathy. And one time he went to this one wine mom British, like, uh, uh, you know, turf forum called Mumsnet, which I feel like the name Mumsnet should completely get across to you if you know anything about British turfs, exactly how much of a... Uh, like a, like a, a bed infested with, with a really bad bed bug infestation. That is the only thing I can, that is the only comparative thing I can think of to what that site is like, okay? The funny thing was, he went there seeking validation after his Twitter was banned, and this was the response from the TERFs. Graham, I think you should just log off and go to bed. Remember when you made that alternative account with the William Macy Fargo avatar? You kept retweeting and retweeting your sock puppets so sock puppets tweets to 600k followers and nobody cared what you had to say when you didn't have a blue tick and a famous name. It's sad to see how far a person can fall, but all you do now is embarrass everyone with your constant tantrums. Besides, this is a female space and I don't think an entitled male should keep barging in here every time he needs something from us. You also got the old, sorry, who are you and why should I care that you've been banned from Twitter? I, I remember this needs to be this. Let me read this and exactly how mum42069 speaks. Sorry. Sorry, who are you and why should I care what, that you've been banned from Twitter? You seem to be a man by the looks of it. 
So are you posting in the feminism forum? This is a female space. I think that was a pretty good impression. What do you guys think? Was that a good? Do you think that was pretty good? Not whiny enough? I, I genuinely cannot reach the level of the level of of eyeball blood vessel popping uh, rage that is induced by the, the snarky, sniveling voice of a British turf, okay? I can't even come close to imitating uh, the power of, of one of their voices. Grand Linehan is basically a definition of a dude trying to use feminism to get laid and get validation from women, and it doesn't work. Because what's obvious very quickly, if you look at any turf space, is that every turf believes in one or more of these three things, and it is what is the reason why they are or identify as a TERF. They just hate trans people and they're transphobe and want to hide it with feminism. Could be one. That's like the easy go-to, right? Like, oh, they could just be transphobic and using feminist talking points to hide that, right? I think that's actually less common than these other options, which are um, women who have been in some way harmed by men or a man and have now generalized their trauma or their spite to all men and masculinity as a whole. So this can literally range anywhere from like uh, lesbians that just happen to hate men because they're not attracted to men and don't really like them all that much. It's just there's a there, there are a lot there. There are a fair amount of lesbians out there that just hate men. I mean, it happens, right? Um, to, like, cis, straight cis women who were rape victims and now kind of really, they don't feel comfortable around men and they, they, their trauma extends to all men, right? Um, and the final option is that they have some sort of brainwashed ideological, like, thing going on. They've been brainwashed into believing that they're of the correct side, right? And that's, those are the people that can be brought over. Those are the people who mean well and can be brought over, and they've just been propagandized to, and if they had the right arguments made to them with the right wrapping paper, the right presentation, they could be brought over, because at the end of the day, they do care about making the world a better place. They've just been convinced by ghoulish demons that doing bad things to good people for no reason will cause good things to happen, um, which is a skill that very stupid people have developed, uh, to convince other people to believe in said stupid things. Can't really be that surprised. Um, but what I really want to talk about here is like, you know, now we know what ter TERFs are, what they believe, why they believe what they believe. Here's the thing. A lot of TERFs are very much politically just pro-women, right? They, they claim to be feminists, but like feminism isn't just being pro-woman as opposed to like, being an egalitarian or a progressive or a, like a, a uh, intersectional progressive or whatever. Um, that's not what it is, but that's what they present it as. And so they will claim that, uh, you know, any bad thing happen happening to women or anything that they fight for that is good for women is a feminist cause um, and makes them feminists, regardless of the fact that everything else they believe is beyond reactionary. A lot of TERFs, who are just politically pro-women, and that's basically just their politics, an anti-man or anti-trans people, and sided with transphobic conservatives against trans people, are now kind of hitting a wall of realization. How many of you can guess why it may be a little bit of an epic... An epic, uh, ironic moment for the TERFs that they sided with the right for the last, like, two years plus in anti-trans rhetoric, and now we're seeing the right and the Republicans in America, more so than ever, attacking women's rights to autonomy, particularly when it comes to abortion. The TERFs aren't happy. A lot of the TERFs are not happy about this. They feel betrayed. Look at this tweet. 
Another turf who voted for the leopards eating faces party, getting her face eaten by a leopard. This is her pathetic DM to Matt Walsh. For those that don't know, leopard eating faces party. The joke is that like, oh my god, I voted for the leopard eating leopards eating people's faces party, and now leopards are eating everybody's faces. How could this have happened? And that's basically a response lefties have to conservatives whenever they complain about the bad outcomes caused by them supporting the right you know so it's just kind of a oh wow the 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 outcome that we said was going to happen because you support conservatives happened man he voted for the leopards eating people's faces party and now leopards are pe eating people's faces wow who could who could have expected such a thing anyway let's check this out so this is the dm from this turf to matt walsh by the way i should mention matt walsh hates women like matt walsh is a massive misogynist who believes that, like, 15-year-old girls, who he claims are the most fertile, uh, should be locked into uh, marriages with older men and forced to give birth. That is what he believes. So, so that is that is who they've decided to throw in their allegiance with. Just to, just kind of give you a heads up. Seriously? What is your problem, dude? I have been nothing but polite to you. My Twitter is littered with defenses of you that I often but that I often come under fire for. This is the second time you have mocked me on Twitter, and which has led to your followers inundating me with abuse. I'm over it. I reached out to you in May to have a civil, adult, mature conversation to start a coalition between men and feminists. Remember, guys, to these people, men and feminists are diametrically opposed things. There, you cannot be a man and be a feminist, because two turfs, feminism is a an inherently womanly trait. Like, you have to have ovaries, a vagina, and a uterus, or whatever. And and I suppose uh, you just have to be a cis woman for that to be uh, something, to be a feminist in their eyes. It is not just a political ideology or identity to them. It is also, like, something you are born as. Um and you have done nothing about it while telling people that feminists won't work with you. It's pathetic, it's wrong, it's a lie. So, part of this is true, and that Matt Walsh has abs would absolutely, and I believe this, um, pretend to be on the side of uh, the TERFs, like, publicly, whenever it's beneficial to his rhetoric, but then immediately dunk on them when it comes to them caring about any issues having to do with women women's rights, right away because matt walsh hates trans people much for the same reason that he hates women because he's a bigot women will suffer just as much if not well actually probably less but still quite a bit uh if the matt walsh's of this world take control okay if you think women's rights will be preserved in a world run by matt walsh's where they get rid of the supposed gender craze whatever no if you want to elect the Republicans to deal with the gender craze, whatever you call it, you're also going to be losing abortion, gay marriage, and a lot of other uh, pretty valuable rights that I know a lot of TERFs here, here in America in particular actually value. A lot of TERFs are lesbians and would not like to lose federal legal uh, legality of gay marriage. I would like gay marriage to stay federally legal, but you've got people supporting uh, Republicans because they're convinced that the trans community is going too far and they're willing to stop it any way they, they can. And now they're having their rights taken away. Who could have seen it coming? Who could have predicted that voting for the leopards eating people's faces party could have led to leopards eating people's faces? Listen, guys, I want you to revel deeply in the suffering of these turfs, okay? Because they would revel in your suffering and you should absolutely not feel an ounce of remorse for them, okay? Um, they knew what they were getting into, or they should have. We have been warning these people for a while. Our rhetoric is... The, the evidence, the facts have been out there for a while. Um, any turf who complains about this, you can laugh at them. It's totally fine, even if the thing they're complaining about is a bad thing. Which is like losing abortion rights or gay marriage rights, whatever. Laugh at the turf still. Because they still supported the people doing this just because they hated trans people more than they liked having rights. Think about that. TERFs hate trans people more than they like having rights.
Goes to show how dangerous transphobia is, my guys and gals and end pals. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, whether you're watching now or after the fact. It really helps my channel, my videos, my VODs, my segments a lot more than I think you guys realize. Uh, you can also subscribe, ring the bell icon, and turn on all notifications so YouTube tells you when I go live or upload a new video. And uh, you can also follow my social media, link down below in the description, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Fan Discord, and my, uh, yeah, I think that's everything, actually. Um, uh, as well as, if you've got the money for it and you don't need it for anything else and you don't know what to do with it, you can support me financially by donating, subscribing, or gifting a sub on my website, Xander, uh, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or supporting me through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, or Patreon. But, with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.